Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, when you launch Tinkercad each day, there is a what's new box up here. You can collapse it, but friends, if you open it up, some of them are pretty darn awesome. Right now, there is a design, a throwable challenge, and this was posted by Penelope. Friends, if you look at it, this is Tinkercad Sim Lab, which is amazing. And the challenge, if you want to read through this, is to make your very own throwable. Now the main point is to knock down targets. There are some rules, not too complex. Only Tinkercad shape. You cannot import anything. Use awesome colors. Scale it down to the size of the cube. Consider putting it in SimLab to see how it works. Try the different materials. Make it copyable. And bonus, think of summer themed throwables. Of course, if you want to participate, choose Copy and Tinker on their target. Share your design in the Tinkercad gallery and tag it with ADSK Throw Challenge. Of course, if you can, share it on Instagram and Twitter and check back to see a roundup of the favorites. You can look through these for inspiration, but friends, I've already got a plan. Let me show you what I got. Of course, the first step is to copy and tinker the target design. Of course, before I copy and tinker, I'm going to give it a reaction. So friends, there is the fun target and a place for objects to land. They did tell us they wanted our object to be about this size. And then friends, what I'm going to show you how to make is a Nerf dart. Now, if you've ever looked up a Nerf dart, it has foam for the back and a soft tip at the front. Friends, I want to find a shape to make that tip and let me give you a trick. This is my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the tab dedicated to Tinkercad with all these amazing categories, day one favorites, useful starters, and the essentials. And friends, one of the essentials is the Tinkercad Shape Generator Catalog. When you click this, it'll take you to a catalog where my students and I put all of the shapes and their names in this list. There are two pages so that you can find all of the shapes there are. And friends, when you know these names, then you can search for them with the search feature. Now I studied this to find the top of my dart. I'm going to use the flattened cylinder. Friends, if you want your own copy of this to keep, all you do is click up here and choose make a copy and it will forever be stored in your Google Drive. Then you'll always have a reference and even on page three, a spot where you can take notes about the cool creations you're making. All right, so we're back to our design and here's what we're going to do. We're going to search for that flattened cylinder, F-L-A-T. After we wait a second, here it comes. We can bring it out and we need to change the measurements. So I did some testing and I'm going to do a top radius of two. I do not want this flattened. I'm going to do a bottom radius of three. I am going to change the height to three and then I'm going to make it orange so that it looks like that Nerf dart top. If we press F to fit view, check it out. That is a pretty decent Nerf dart. Now I'm going to rotate it so that it's aimed for throwing. I'm going to hold down shift. And then when you rotate it, it goes 45 degrees at a time. I love that trick. We're going to do D for drop. Friends, that is the tip of our amazing Nerf dart. Now we are going to make the Nerf dart body. Now remember, they are hollow, so we are going to build with the tube. Because of cruising, I can set it right on the shape. This is also fun because I can use parameters. I want the diameter to be 6, so I'm going to do a radius of 3. I want the wall thickness to be 1. That way it will show up as hollow. I am going to change those sides to 16 so the shape is more simple. And of course I am going to choose a Nerf Dart Blue. Friends remember we had a goal of a size of 20. Let's set that up by bringing out a ruler. I'm going to line those up with that front part. And then I can simply stretch this back until we get our length of approximately 20. How cool is that? Final step is to click L and align, and I'm going to make the blue one the boss, and we want it to be in the middle and the middle. Friends, we have just made a fun Nerf dart that we can use in the Tinkercad Sim Lab. Of course, let's take them and group them. 
and make sure that we have multicolor turned on. Now we need a way to test it. Friends, we're going to do that by simply bringing out a cube, stretch it to whatever height you want, click on your cool dart and do control D. We are going to shift select this tower and let's choose a line and we want to bring it to the tower and to the tower and to the top. And then if we can click on that little one, we can do W for work plane, click on top and hit D for drop. Of course, to launch it, we need to pull it back just a little ways. And we're going to build a wicked cool hammer launcher. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground and let me show you how. Let's use a cylinder for our hammer. When you bring out the cylinder, set it on that cube with cruising. Let's reduce the sides as low as they get. The less complex you make these shapes, the better. I am going to make the hammer a brown and then I am going to give it a way to spin. We're going to do that with the torus. Once again, super slick, you can set the torus on this cube so that it's lined up the way you want. We're going to change its tube to point 0.1 and press enter. We are going to make the sides 8 and press enter, and I'm going to make the steps 8 and press enter. The less complex the shape is, the more effective it's going to be. And then I'm going to make it nice and wide to sit on our pin. Now we do need to grab a pin. Let's do that with a cylinder as well. I'm going to set it once again on that flat side using that cruising tool. I'm going to shift squeeze it down to size 3. Once again, if you shift squeeze, you can type a number in the box. And bam, it's ready. F to fit view, and we need to make it wider. I'm going to tell you a good number to type is 50, so it's nice and large. We are going to shift select those two and choose a line. And I want them to align to that center pin, and I want it to be centered this way, centered this way, and centered this way. For a moment, friends, we are going to group those. So I'm going to select those two, and I'm going to group them. Now, friends, I'm going to shift select those two, choose a line. And now I want to align it with the hammer. So I'm going to do center and center. And of course, center. I'm going to click on the blue one and I'm going to do control up to raise it up whatever height I want. Now I'm going to shift select those two and do control up. So the hammer is going to hit when it swings. Now let's rotate it. Once again, I can do control up to raise it a little higher. I can use the arrows to move it out. And then we need to do our ungrouping. So the only two pieces we want grouped are our rotation piece and the hammer piece. Let's hit group. I'm going to pick a more fun color. I'm going to go once again with the brown for my hammer. And it is time to head to the sim lab. We can now click on that pin and make it static. You'll notice that the target already was static. And friends, when we hit play, let's see if it works. Oh, notice it missed by just a little bit. We're going to do reset. We're going to go back. And all we need to do is take those two parts and do control up a few clicks. And let's return to the motion simulator and give it another test. I also am going to make it a different material. Let's go with steel and friends. Let's see what we get. Bam! A launchable Nerf dart. Friends, don't forget you can have a ton of fun with different materials. I'm going to make that polystyrene. Let's hit play and see how it goes. Bingo! Works like a champ. We can also pause, slide back, and double check our results. That is a pretty fun launchable Nerf dart. I'm going to hit reset, friends, and check out some of the changes. What if we made this box into ice so it has less friction? Let's see if this time we get an even better launch. I don't know if it was any better, but just proves, friends, how much you can fiddle with this and have fun with your awesome Tinkercad Sim Lab creations. Friends, I do want to remind you quickly, when you are done with your project, make sure you give it a name. 
I am calling mine Throwable New Dirt. I also like to go to the settings, pick a cool background color. I'm also going to shut off the grid. Once again, lots of room for you to keep playing with this, but when you are done and you want to show the world, simply return to the workspace, click on the properties. Of course, double check that name and then give it a description. Of course, if it's one of mine, you know this tutorial is coming soon. There are other ways to reach me and find my other videos. If you give it tags, remember if you do HLMT23 as one of your tags, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. And of course, if you are doing the challenge, make sure you add that tag as well. Finally, make sure you set it as public. And then I always choose attribution no derivatives because I want you to come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. When you're done, make sure you hit save changes. Finally, friends, don't forget this all started with the sweet what's new in Tinkercad. It is fine to collapse it when you're ready to get to work, but don't forget, keep an eye on that to see the awesome things Tinkercad is sharing. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.